Oh, my favorite thing to do after church, getting the last bit of donuts. Welcome, you're welcome, pray and go. Well, I have to go, get me some donuts. Let me get me a donut. Oh. Never mind, guys. Hey, I found some. I'm gonna be a judge for this uh, cake competition. Uh, don't mind the soap. Look what we got so far. Judges taste sample. Look at that, they're so considerate. Look at that. Confetti cookie sandwiches. Next is another one. Carrot cake cookie sandwiches. Kinda like ice cream sandwiches, but not nice. Huh? Those look pretty good. The next item has me somewhat perplexed. Peach cheese pie. Uh... Let's eat five whole pizzas. Contemplating my decision. I'm not pooping tonight. Pennsylvania school district must allow after school Satan club after judge ruling. How can a judge rule in favor of this? First amendment rights. One day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. The ones who attack the little ones will have the wrath of God upon them. Sodom and Gomorrah is America. One day your knees will bow and your tongue will suck my- Every closeted Christian right now, start the rapture. It's hard to ignore its truth. I'm trying to be like Jesus. Guy's not real. Loneliness. It's a feeling that can be overwhelming at times, especially when it seems like there's no one around who understands us. Even someone like me who's surrounded by friends and allies can feel alone sometimes. Believe me, I've been there. When my parents were killed, I felt like the whole world had turned against me. I didn't know how to deal with my grief, and I didn't have anyone to turn to. That's the thing about loneliness. It can make us feel like we're the only ones going through it. But that's not true. Pee -pee. Pee -pee. Look, I'm sorry, I can't get you out the cave. That's in your legal contract right here. Now you die. See? Look, I'm sorry. Oh, look, I can't do anything for you right now. But I could give you this. Hope. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. I'm totally gonna get canceled for this. Like that. Tail wagon. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna pass the ball. He's gonna pass the ball. And... You know what this song is, 2000s, baby. Cause I give a thousand hugs, hey, from 10,000 lightning bugs. Wakey, wakey. I'm a late time. Free for 30 days. Should I start your free trial and play crazy, noisy, bizarre town? Um, do you think I care? Yes, please. Huh? Mm, Alexa, play crazy, noisy, bizarre town. Why no? What is this? Stop. Alexa, play crazy, noisy, bizarre town. Finally. You no, know, I'm kind of like this grilled cheese. I look good looking on one side, but you know, on the other side, I have a dark side. <laughs> That's a horrible laugh. But laugh with me. Ah! Enemy spotted. Oh, welcome. Let's go. We ain't scrapping today. But you're cool. No thanks. In order to commemorate Goku Day, which is on May the 9th, we're gonna rank each opening song from each Dragon Ball series with the OG, Dragon Ball, Z, GT, and Super. We're gonna start off with the first opening, Mystical Adventure. The English dub for the opening is great. Search the sky and the sea below. Would I say it's the best? I don't think so, so I'm gonna put it in A. Next is what everybody and their mama knows. Chala hit chala, bro. <laughs> 
I still don't know what that means, bro. I just know some of the lyrics. A stick. Rosaline. Try to get it. Eat. 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 Okay. Okay. You can get the stick. Yeah. All right. So you heard of Plastic Love, right? Yeah, that memorable song. Well, there's a version of it, a live performance of 2000, just with a guest performer. Check this out. You hear that? That was insane. So we're gonna copy what he's doing. Just that part. We're gonna record it in the bathroom. All right, let's go. Like, comment, and subscribe so that you can pet my dog. Ah ha ha. He offered me this bread for $7, and it was the only bread he had left, so I took it from his hands, and it's banana bread. Look at that. You see that? Pretty cool, right? We gotta test it, though, with the drop test. Ooh, you see all that? You saw that? Noise. All right. The ingredients, we're not gonna read it. It's bananas. We trust. We trust him. All right. We're just gonna... We're gonna get we're gonna try that corner. It's um uh, a bit a rich, rich, but, but okay. okay. Hello, welcome, welcome to Earth. Earth. I am going to review something that I've always have in my backup. People have their backpacks, their laptops, like their go-to thing every day. For me, it's the Sonic app. Not that Sonic. I'm just gonna pull up the app and I'll show y'all this. Huh? The Sonic app. And what I mainly get from this is slussies because slussy and drinks on here on when you buy it from the app is half off, bro. And my main go-to slussy is a cherry limeade large with nerds. So, you know, if you want to try that, you can do that. And for people who may not have Sonics in their area, you're being left out. Hold up, did someone say your mom's gay? <laughs> Maybe. How could you? It's Mother's Day, bruh! Yeah, have some decency, you son of a wonderfully made mother. Oh yeah, that too, I guess. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Just so you guys know, if you, if you, if you want to know, I'm recording this at night. So I flew seven hours to go to downtown Waxahachie in Texas. Um, uh, apparently they're filming something here called the Bass Reeves. I don't know if it's a movie or whatever. Here are the Carfax. These aren't my photos. These were taken by a lady called Charity Fitz. Um, she worked for the Daily Bugle. Um, that's the, in well, not the interior. The these are just stairs. Let me see if I'm not going to go inside. I'm just going to touch it. Then we're gonna bounce because I I walked like 30 minutes to get here. I mean, what? I, 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 All right. Another question is, why do you sing? <laughs> As you can probably tell throughout most of my videos, I like to just sing. Get it with one hand. Someone help! I repeat, guys, there is a truck in the building. Why did I even put this? Let's read the scriptures. Romans chapter eleven, verses thirty-three to thirty-six. It reads. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? 
or who has been his counselor, or who has given a gift to him that he might be repaid. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. All right, that sounds generic to you? All right, give me my money. <laughs> fine, fine. You could have at least uh, prayed for it before you got it. Too soon. Jeez, never trust a guy in orange. Could you, though? Well, you could say that I'm unashamed. No one is going to get that. I know no one's going to get that. Okay, so this is an impromptu short. I'm editing a short that I really want to get by for Friday of May 19th, but I'm too lazy and I'm going to schedule it tomorrow, which is on a Saturday. So I'm just going to film Rosaline for a bit. This ain't going to be edited. See, there's Rosaline. I'm sorry, Rosaline. I don't know if Peter's going to get me on. I don't know if Peter's going to get on to me for, you know, lighting you. But, like, you're being still. You're being good girl, right? You good girl! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Graduation. It is a time of transition. It is a time of saying goodbye. But it's also the time where you hear this little ditty. For those who may not know, the name of this song is Pomp and Circumstance. It was originally used in the coronation of King Edward VII. It was written by English composer Sir Edward Elgar in 1901. The line, Pomp and Circumstance, was based on Shakespeare's Othello, Pride, Pomp, and Circumstance of Glorious War. Now, go out there and play, I mean, uh, slay. Grad memories in the comments. Rosalind. <laughs> Say hi. Come on now. Say hi to. Hey, Rosalind. Can you say hi to the. Look. Can you say hi? Oh. Say hi. You see? This is why. Oh, can you say hi? <sighs> or card. The sponge is watching you. The star is watching the sponge. Wait a minute. Diapers? That means baby sour? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Guess how many. Look at the jar. Guess how many candles there are. Write your name on the card. It's really not that hard. Drop in the box. Closest person wins the prize. Jeez Louise. Whoa, what, what is going on? See, green light on, and they're going. On oh, my ribs. Ah! Look at this. It's a stampede, bro. Ah! Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. It's been and uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. The first thing he says to himself is huh? to get lost. Because he gives himself away. Let's see if I got some bars, let's go. Um, you get two sides of the bread, then you get some mayonnaise over the head, you put it around as such that mayonnaise has olive oil, then you put the mustard on both sides of the bread until it's just right. Put a spoonful, don't be in a fight, turkey, get some cheese, ravioli, macaroni, mama, mama moe. Put turkey slices on each side of the bread, put an even spread, get the cheese, 
me type of through just one slice and the secret ingredient is that crunch factor so get a bag of chips put a hefty lift on one side then you sandwich together as so you squash it like a bug and you eat it like a mug it's very delicious right that's right now it's time to close shop for the night not get in the fight oh i don't know why i did that so i said oh because i was gonna record but I hold the camera button, you know, to take a picture, and it already is recording, so it's cool. Check this out. Come on, Come on Zoom. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Ooh, right, girls. Yeah, I'm too desperate for content. Look at that. This parking lot was packed, but now there's barely any people. So yeah, from the looks of it, it's a water slide. You know what that water slide reminds me of? Akuna Matata. You know, come on, man. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. And touch your heart Look around All your dreams are shiny Let me tell you something you already know The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows It's a very mean and nasty place And I don't care how tough you are It will beat you to your knees And keep you there permanently if you let it You, me, or nobody Is gonna hit as hard as life But it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The Rocky movie franchise has been a part of cinema history for decades now. Now there is this one musical cue in the Rocky movies that I've always found interesting and quite similar to something else. Do you agree? There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is a middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. As a young Christian kid in elementary school, I remember asking this question to one of my teachers. Why did God plant the tree of good and evil? The tree that caused the fall of man, that caused the first sin. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. Without God commanding Adam of that choice, would there even be any choices that are considered good and bad? So without God planting that tree, he wouldn't have given us free will to do whatever we want. For me to make this video, to think about stuff that I shouldn't, like, should I put my Crocs in a crock pot? Spinel, come on, we can talk this out. I don't want to play anymore. Spinel, this isn't a game! I don't get it! Why are my-
my powers back? Aren't I reliving every horrible thing that's ever happened to me? A jam I barely know is trying to kill me. I'm paying for stuff my mom did that had nothing to do with me. I'm struggling with my powers. The world's about to end. What piece could I be missing? This is the story of my life. Stop the cow. <laughs> Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, and this is a mystery box. Is it cookie? Uh, no, it is not a cookie. Bye bye. Oh, but wait a second, Cookie Monster. There are clues. Arrivederci, Frog. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you guess what is in the box, I'll give you a cookie. It's a horse. It's a cow. It's a cotton ball. It's a pogo stick. It's a now maybe if you listen to the clues. Okay, okay. Me all ears. The first clue yeah. it is something to eat. It's a cookie! No, it's not a cookie. The second clue, it is something round. A cookie! No! Third clue, the color of this thing is orange. It's a cookie! No, it is not a cookie! 